welcome to Spot on Basics. I'm Rebecca Monet with Zorical Profiles. Zorical provides profiling tools to franchisors and franchise consultants that helps facilitate a right fit between a prospective franchisee and a franchise concept. The Zorical tools are based on seven statistically validated sciences one of which I want to talk about today, the stages of growth of a franchise organization. I want to talk about stage one, which is what we call the entrepreneurial franchise system. So when you are considering if someone is a good fit, I want you to think about five things. Does this prospective franchisee fit within this franchisor's value systems? Does that prospective franchisee fit within the franchisor's current stage of growth? Does this franchisee fit within that franchisor's culture? And will this prospective franchisee comply, leverage uh, the franchisor's current uh, systems and procedures? And do they have the skills necessary to grow that business, ones that complement the franchisor's strategic goals and initiatives. So let's look at stage one, the entrepreneurial franchise uh, system. So there are five primary markers that help you and helps us determine what stage of growth a franchise system is currently in. First, we look at the management style of that franchise organization. We look at the organizational structure of that franchise system and how formal and to what extent those systems are in place within that franchise organization. And also the, uh, the major strategy that that franchisor is focused on. And finally, the way to determine what stage of growth the franchisor is it is by looking at how involved the concept originator, the founder is within that business. So as the name entrepreneurial would suggest, a stage one franchise organization is extremely dynamic. It's highly innovative. It's oftentimes a startup. Now obviously um, a Entrepreneurial stage one franchise system is typically a smaller, what might be called a micro emerging franchise system. Zero franchisees, maybe up to 15 or 20 uh, franchisees within that system. The founder is someone who is still extremely hands on in the business, doing various aspects of the business himself, the sales, the marketing, the operations, are all on the shoulders of the founder. He has a kind of buck stops here management style um, and every decision is on the founder's um, mind and of course is his responsibility. Now he may have a few employees but each of those employees are wearing several hats throughout uh, the day. Now the Stage one entrepreneurial franchisor will have some basic systems in place or what we would consider minimal formal systems. Now obviously they have systems in place or they wouldn't be a franchise system to start with, but they are indeed minimal and basic at this stage of growth. The focus of the franchisor that's in stage one is on creating the better widget the better mousetrap. It's the, the entire focus in stage one is creating a product or service that stands out from others. It could be a whole new idea or a whole new twist on an idea that may already uh, be out there. Now naturally there are some great benefits to a franchisee that gets involved with the stage one franchise uh, system. You're going to be first to market if you're a franchisee that joins a stage one franchise system. You're going to likely have better terms. The franchisor tends to be more flexible in their earlier stages. So a franchisee oftentimes has fewer rules and better terms uh, in, in, when they're starting out. 
Now they also tend to have greater say in the policies and procedures going forward. And if they're able to hang in there, the financial rewards are fabulous for an early stage franchisee. Now naturally there are also some challenges that a franchisee and a franchisor is going to have when something is more of a startup. It's an earlier stage franchise system. The franchisor of course is going to have limited resources and they're going to be oftentimes understaffed. So the support and the training that you might experience with a later stage franchise organization is not going to be as available in an early stage. And of course the systems are dynamic at this point so it could be causing some uh, chaos. Now naturally if a franchisee is wired for a stage one franchise system they may actually like that it's dynamic. They like being adaptable and they don't mind that uh, there's less training and less support. In fact, they kind of like that the franchisor is a bit hands off. Now, one of the challenges a franchisor might experience is that they are oftentimes uh, providing overly liberal franchise agreements. Now initially that might be great to get the franchise system up and running, but later there'll be consequences for that. So what you're looking at here is um, Ellie Grenner's uh, work and Neil Churchill's uh, work. The idea here is these predictable stages of growth require certain predictable focus to get to the next level. Uh, the focus, for example, here is on um, creativity, and that is what's going to allow a franchise system to grow to the next level. The crises, of course, is going to be that of leadership. So growth in a stage one franchise organization is when the concept originator continues to be innovative and continues to be creative. But sometimes that doesn't happen. And instead, he's focused on the minutia of that a business, the day-to-day -day operations of the business. And he is no longer as creative as he may have been when he first started that franchise system. Additionally, not only may he be losing sight of the creativity, which is what allows him to, to grow, that franchise system to grow, but because his head is down, focusing on the sales and the marketing and the operations and the legal and all the things that every franchisor has to deal with, oftentimes he is not casting the vision. He's not leading that franchise organization. Instead, he is either creating, which is a good thing, and then his eye gets off the ball from leading and um, having folks go in a particular direction. It is very hard for a franchisor to be able to do uh, both. So that's why we call it a crisis of leadership, which can have prospective franchisees who become franchisees become very autonomous uh, and doing their own things. And we'll talk about that in stage two a little bit more. So what you're looking at here is the spot on profile, the segment called stages of growth, and a prospective franchisee and how he or she might be scoring. So this candidate scores as a stage one entrepreneurial franchisee, but he also would fit in stage two and stage three. This is a beautiful thing, right? So this is a franchisee who would fit in an early stage franchise organization, but he is also equally as comfortable in a stage two and a stage three. So he is capable of growing with that franchise uh, system. Now let's look at a mismatch as an example. In this example, you're looking at an Eclipse report, and this particular franchisor is this light gray area that you see at the top. He or she, that franchisor, is a stage two or partnership franchise organization. And the prospect who is scoring here in the mint green color is scoring in a stage four or um, empire business or a hybrid. So we would consider this a complete mismatch. This is an early stage two franchise system 
and the franchisee is expecting that franchisor to be much larger and much more established than where that franchisor is. Now this is even more difficult if a franchise system is a stage one and someone is scoring much further down the line. The expectations and the demands of a prospective franchisee that scores further along than what the franchisor is, is going to cause not only a misfit, but it could cause the franchisor to go into directions uh, that he or she is not ready to simply because they're responding to the demands of the franchisee. So the spot on eclipse that you're looking at here in terms of the summary will tell you very quickly if you're a franchisor, if your candidate fits into your current stage of growth. In this case, you're looking at a prospective franchisee. It's about a 75% fit within your current uh, stage of growth. Now, ultimately, we're looking at Z to Zor fit. Keep in mind, there are several markers that will help you determine if this prospect is a good uh, fit. But I can tell you, when a prospect is a good fit, they're not only going to be more compatible and validate better and retain better and cost the franchise or less to train and support, but they're going to be happier and more satisfied and ramp up faster and ultimately uh, perform uh, better. So stay tuned and listen in to our stage two uh, conversation. If you have any questions for us at Zorical, feel free to reach out to us. <music>